When you first arrive at your station, you should find an information package, a few sets of lead wires, in this case three on the table, one already connected to the monitor, and one set of short lead wires attached to your hydrogen fuel cell already. Again, you have your monitor here that gives you a measurement of three different things. You'll have, uh, as you see when you flip it on, volts, amps, and watts, and that's what it should be set on. If it's not, you can use this to flip through the different ones. Always make sure to turn it off when you're not using it. You also have your connector for your lead wires. They will connect into here. Your motor with fan tip, your LED lights, your hydrogen fuel cell, your two little containers with water in them, and also your little system that splits that water into the two gases, hydrogen and oxygen. Your battery pack and a syringe along with, uh, in this case I have a jug of water, you'll have a beaker of distilled water. So please do not fill it up at the tap. This station is probably one of the more confusing stations with all the different setups and how you have to switch things back and forth, pull something out, put something else in. So please watch this video and hit pause. Do that step and then hit play again or rewind and watch from the start. Do not try and guess. If you guess and you damage the equipment, then it cannot be used by anybody else. Your first steps are only going to deal with the equipment that you see right here. Okay, first off, we need to unplug this oxygen tube here. Okay, completely take that off. You're going to take some distilled water from your beaker. In my case, I'm using a jug of water. You'll have distilled water in a little beaker. And you're, you could fill it up, but you're not going to need that much at all. You're only really going to need about one milliliter, if that, of water. So you want to disconnect the different parts here. Connect this on the bottom and you give that a little squirt until you see some water coming out right here, which again, that was not even one milliliter. It's a very small amount. Do not overfill it. Put the piece back in with the red. Get that little tubing attached right onto it and reattach the oxygen part too. As you can see, we have our oxygen side is all red leads, red here, red tip, okay, red on your little container of, of water that, ha that will become filled with oxygen and everything else on the other side is black. So black here for the hydrogen, black here and black on the writing. So please make sure to keep that set up properly and even when you are connecting your battery in, black goes on the hydrogen side, red goes on the oxygen side. Now that you've filled up the water in your electrolyzer, you want to make sure that these two test tubes are done properly. So even though you might already have it at the zero line, you want to pull this out, make sure all the gases are released, and take that tube off. And you have little notches here. One notch on this side, one notch on this side here. And you want to make sure that those notches are parallel to this white container as well, the holding little tray for them. So again, notches are parallel. You place this back in. That should push all the gases out through the top little nozzle. Make sure it's nice and secure in there and you can reattach your hose. You're gonna do the exact same thing to the hydrogen side. Okay, so you take this out, release any gases that might still be in there, okay? Detach the hose, that's important so that when you put this back in, that the air can actually escape rather than go into the hose. So again, you have these notches on the bottom and you align them straight across, parallel with the table that is holding the little beakers in place. And reattach your hydrogen tube as well. Now just double check that your water levels still are at zero with students taking them in and out all day. Some might splash out. If that happens, just use your beaker of distilled water to top them back up to the zero line. Now that everything should be set up properly, just double check please that you have your red tip on this side, black tip on this side. This is hydrogen, oxygen. Hi oxygen is going to the oxygen. Hydrogen is down here going to the hydrogen. This clip is open, 
So this is in the closed position. You want to make sure that it's in the open position. Otherwise, no hydrogen will be going in there. Once that's all in place and you know it's set up right with water inside your electrolyzer, you can then make sure first to turn off your battery unit. Okay, plug it in to the proper sides. Black on the black side for hydrogen, red on the red side for oxygen. And then you can turn it on and you should instantly see some gas pushing water out of these tubes and start to fill in here. Please note the difference. Your hydrogen is gonna be twice as much as your oxygen. And it's filling up inside that little container and pushing the water out and it's going out those little notches if you remember you put those parallel before it's pushing the water out those notches so water level will go up as the gas fills inside that little container that's upside down in there so you give this a little bit of time now and once this is completely full you should have about 30 milliliters in there and you'll see gas bubbles then starting to escape that's when you know it's full and no more gas can be held in there Now that we have bubbles coming out of the side here, what you can do is turn off your battery pack. Actually just disconnect it to get it out of the way completely. And it's very important you pinch this off now so that you're not losing any of your hydrogen gas. You then disconnect it from the bottom terminal there and connect it onto your hydrogen fuel cell. This will be allowing the hydrogen to go into this cell and actually create electricity. So the second you actually connect it there, uh, if you haven't pinched this off, it's already producing electricity, but we have nothing connected, so that's why it's important to connect this, uh, close this off as well. So once that's all set up, with again, this being at the bottom terminal, this little green thing uh, is called a purger. You can press it if your system ever stops working, but you know there's still hydrogen. You press this little button and that'll push some uh, more hydrogen in through the system. So you can now go ahead and connect some of your different devices by plugging into the other terminal here and then into your either LED system or into your fan system and see if they're working. Again, remembering red to red, black to black. If not, your fan will be turning the opposite way. Your lights won't be lighting up properly. Another little test you can do is use this little plate to see if you can get both your fan and your LED lights lighting up at the same time. Pay close attention to your hydrogen levels. If it runs out, uh, you should d disconnect everything. And if you still have time, you can refuel it by following the steps right from the beginning. When using your monitor, you want to make sure first that it's turned on to, to the battery power. And again, turn it off when you're done. You want to have volts, amps, and watts displayed. You want to connect your power source to your input in the case of the hydrogen fuel cell station, that will be the actual hydrogen fuel cell itself, the small blue piece that has the even smaller green uh, little tab attached to it out of the tube. That's your hydrogen fuel cell. You want to connect it through the input, and then the wires come out the output to your load, whatever your load it might be, in this case, the fan. Okay. And when you plug that in, you should have your fan hopefully working. You should also get some volts, amps, and watts. And you want to record that on your data sheet. When you're done at the station, please try to set everything up how you found it. Again, the monitor, the connector, the LED, the fan, the hydrogen fuel cell, the electro electrolyzer, your containers here, the battery, and your syringe. Making sure, again, that your black is on this side, red is on this side. That's connected and open for the next group, and the tube is connected here, so that when they get to it, it's the same as how you found it.